is Jun Liu. I graduated from Fudan University, one of the most prestigious universities in China, majoring in Chinese literature. After graduation, I have been committed to promoting Chinese culture. I'm the guest lecturer on Chinese garden art to the students from Lehigh University from US. I also give such lectures to the officials from British Consul General of Shanghai. Last year, I published a book called Not Just a Travel, collecting all my travel notes around the world. In the future, I'm determined to work as a bridge connecting the West and the East. The Chinese ancient gardens fall into four categories. The imperial gardens, the private scholars gardens, the temple gardens, and the natural scenic gardens. The private scholars gardens are mainly located in the south of China. In Shanghai, there are also some ancient gardens that are worth visiting. They are hidden in the downtown of Shanghai, small and acquisite, or in the suburban areas, large and dignified. These five ancient gardens are Yu Garden, Gu Yi Garden, Widing Water Garden, Autumn Sunlight Garden, and the Zui Bai Chi Park. Yu Garden is an ancient garden ranking among the must-see attractions in Shanghai. It dates back to the Ming Dynasty and was owned by a government official called Pan Yunduan. Yu in Chinese means pleasing and satisfying. The garden was especially built for Pan's parents as a place for them to enjoy a tranquil and happy life in their old age. Bridges frequently zigzag, providing the visitors ever-changing vantages to experience the garden. Bridges are built only inches above the water to give the visitors the illusion of walking on the water. The bridges in the gardens fall into two categories, represented by the nine zigzag bridge in Yu Garden. It is the best place to have the sight of fishes. The visitors can lean on the railings of the bridge to feed the fish. Yu Garden is no doubtly one of the most famous gardens in Shanghai. People are weaving on the nine zigzag bridge and the coil cups are enjoying themselves under there. Yu Garden is indeed an imprint of Shanghai's culture and the homesickness of Shanghainese heart. Speaking the history of Shanghai, I have to mention Songjiang. Songjiang deserves the title as the root of Shanghai because it has the originality of Shanghai. Today, Songjiang is one of the five new towns in Shanghai Master Plan. It is speeding up the cultural empowerment and continuing carrying forward the core of Shanghai culture. Among the numerous historical sites, there is a beautiful Jiangnan Classic Garden. It has accompanied generations of Shanghainese for more than 900 years. It is called Zui Bai Chi Park. Here, you can be immersed in the towering ancient trees, the jagged rocks, waterside pavilions, connected corridors, and the reflection fragrance of lotus, and so on. This is a carving wood wood hall of the Qing Dynasty. It is one of the most exquisite halls with carving woodwork in Shanghai. It is also a rare old building of this kind in the south region of the Yangtze River. The whole building, which has three courtyards, two halls and two wind rooms, is a classic residence with precise structure and style of the south region of Yangtze River. First, let's have a look at the front hall. Its window bars, beams, and the lintels are covered with the carvings with various kinds of blossoming flowers. The embossed carving, all flowers blossom together, which is emplaced in the center of the hall, summarizes the contents of the flower carving of the front hall. With no flowers sharing the same shape with each other, the carvings have their own vigorousness as well as unparalleled exquisiteness and vividness. 
Then let's have a look at the back hall, the doors, windows, and the lintels of the back hall are covered with embossed carvings telling a complete set of stories about the figures of the Three Kingdom period. Each picture shows the story of the Three Kingdom period and no picture repeats the same story. These figures of the Three Kingdom period are exquisitely carved with skilled craftsmanship. Their vivid images make visitors feel like seeing the real people and being personally on the scene. On the wall of South Corridor along Clear Pond, 30 stone dollars are embedded with the same size, which are carved with pictures of 91 prominent figures from Songjiang. This group of pictures was carefully created by Xu Zhang, a famous calligrapher painter from Songjiang during Qianlong period of the Qing dynasty, who spent years meticulously painting. Each portrait is sketched with lines with ink color for the background and the lines in white. In this way, figures seem full of three-dimensional feelings. Such figures present meticulous beauty, which are real treasures in the Chinese portrait art world. These are stone carvings with former old of Chibi and the later former of Chibi created by Zhao Mengfu, a famous calligrapher in the Yuan dynasty which are top-class running script works and the precious treasure of Zui Bai Chi Park. Zhao was skilled in calligraphy, especially running and regular scripts. Among the Chinese cursive handwriting works, stone carvings of former Old of Chibi and the later Old of Chibi are the most top-quality authentic artworks and the most famous and best Chinese calligraphy artworks following Wang Xizhi. Zhao Mengfu advocated starting from the Jing and the Tang dynasties, inherited the charm of calligraphy art in the Jing and the Tang dynasties, wrote a new chapter for calligraphy of the Yuan dynasty, and emerged as a greater master of his generation. His unique calligraphy is called as Zhao style. Former Old of Chibi and the later Old of Chibi are really masterpieces of calligraphy art with high artistic value. Reading hall in front of you has a wide lintel and a quiet and a beautiful circumstance. It was a place for people with knowledge to study and get together. Reading halls can be seen everywhere in our China, but the south region of the Yangtze River embraces only three reading halls, Lanting Reading Hall in Shaoxing, Dongling Reading Hall in Wuxi, and the Huating Reading Hall in Songjiang which is the one in front of us now. Thus, it can reflect the local popularity of study and the large number of scholars. According to the relevant information, 591 native candidates from Songjiang passed the state-level imperial examination in different dynasties. There are two grass-covered pavilions on two sides of Main Road. The grass-covered pavilion on the north of Main Road is called Chuogen Pavilion. Chuogen literally refers to having a rest and stopping farming. This pavilion reflects the farming life of Tao Zongyi, a well-known scholar in the Yuan Dynasty. In the later Yuan Dynasty, he came to Nanchun, today's Sijing of Songjiang, and lived in the self-reliant manner all year round. He built Nanchun Cottage for the venue of farming and reading. The grass-covered pavilion on the south of Main Road is called as Book Stored in Broken Urn, which means a book written on the leaves and stored in a broken urn. Whenever Tao Zongyi did farming work, he carried a writing brush and ink, wrote social knowledge and reading insights on the leaves at any time, and placed into broken urn near the tree. Over time, he persevered in doing so for over a decade. He accumulated a dozen of urns containing manuscript leaves. Later, he asked his disciples to transcribe and compile 30 volumes. This book shown here was written in Nanchun during the period for the rest after farming. Hence, records for rest after farming in Nanchun is named after. Today, we have introduced the representative works of ancient gardens in Shanghai, the Yu Garden and the Zui Bai Chi Garden. Just as I said that there are also gardens worth visiting in Shanghai. They stand there quietly, telling the spirit and the history of Shanghai's urban city.